we are going to take this example of a Phalaenopsis that has lost all its roots, and we are going to take an example of a Phalaenopsis that is growing beautiful new roots, and then we're going to do this kind of a thumbnail, and this kind of a thumbnail, and maybe, because we don't like the look, it's probably too harsh with a black background, we can adapt it a little bit and do an alternative thumbnail based on the same idea that might look like this, and if they do look familiar to you, let me just put it out there as a disclaimer. I created these. These are my original works of art, because works of art, they are. I'm going to show you in this video how these fake hack orchid care videos that we see on the tubes, how they create their thumbnails, and I will point out certain elements that you can look out for just in case, just in case. You may think that it is for real, even though the ingredients that they offer and volunteer for miracle growth results and blooming all year round <laughs> may seem a little fantastical. So let's have some fun, and I hope that you join me for this and enjoy seeing it all come together. First of all, what we have to do is find an image or something along the lines of what I have right here with an orchid that is showing beautiful root tips in a very clear image. Now, that is if you want quality thumbnails, of course, that are even more misleading. So, I opted for an image that I had a beautiful high resolution of these gorgeous roots growing out of a Phalaenopsis. Seeing as Phalaenopsis seemed to be the go-to for any kind of orchid miracle hack video, we will stick with the theme. What we need to do is extract these beautiful root tips away from the mother plant, from the vegetation, everything around it. We got to clean up the image and isolate all those gorgeous roots. Trust and believe this is a fun process because who doesn't like to stare at roots? Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> what a sight! Anyway, now, with a little bit of foresight and imagination, what we're going to do with this cluster of roots is isolate every single root separately or in a group, depending on what future uses we want to use them for, what elements we would like to apply them with, <laughs> and well, that takes a little bit of time, but every image has to then be redone, and a single root tip has to be isolated. So, there are several variants that I am showing you here, how I'm taking out all the other roots and bringing in elements that I could use in the future for any future thumbnails, where I want to mislead you about how beautiful roots are growing after some weird potion or ingredient is applied. So pretty much after this process, we have a whole folder full of different gorgeous root tips. And now is the time to put our work of art, because that is what it is, <laughs> fantastical work of art. Take some artificial intelligence as well to recognize that this is all humbug, but let's continue. We're going to now get our sad little orchid, we're going to double that image up, and then we're going to start importing the root tips, move them around so that they look somewhat normal, and try to make them look as realistic if at all possible possible, because I do want to be somewhat serious about this. However, what I'm doing here, because of my ego, I think is a little bit more sophisticated than what you would see on the thumbnails of these orchid hack videos. So we'll just keep piling on the root tips, and we'll change the angles, mess around a little bit with the exposure, and with that, we're going to start building our thumbnail. Takes a little bit of time to bring all the elements together, we need that magical ingredient, etc, etc. Bring the roots down to some kind of a size that is feasible, always keeping in mind that we're trying to exaggerate the results of this magical potion, and for that reason the roots are large, big, luscious, and abundant to a degree that I'm not sure that is very realistic, but that's the point here. I'm trying to show you, give you a visual of how they do it, and how they mislead you to then get the click and the massive exposure and constant recommendation on your YouTube homepage. And the final result would look something like this, 
And when you scroll through your page, all you see is a hand, the magic ingredients, the gorgeous roots from what once was a rootless phalaenopsis. Now, if I had taken a little bit more time, I could have taken off the dead stem, cleaned the image up even further, but you get the point. If anybody were to be super serious and was trying to prove to you that they're showing you the same orchid after the results of their magic ingredient, then to be fair, they should leave the stem as is so that one could identify the authenticity that their miracle method works. So I am even being more honest than they are at this point in time, but we're not done there yet. So let's move on to another option because wait, <laughs> there's more beautiful root tips that we can work with because a lot of the times we see root tips like this just starting, not really forming the velamen yet. And of course, who doesn't love nubbins? So here we have an example where we can extract a nubbin and the same procedure goes for this entire image. We're gonna extract all the little different elements and with that in place, we are now going to extract and isolate all the root tips so that we have all those root tips and elements for our next project. But have you ever seen something dead and all of a sudden there's a cluster of beautiful leaves forming? Well, fear not, I have that for you as well. Here I have an image from which I am now extracting that beautiful cluster of leaves from a phalaenopsis that had absolutely nothing to do with the root tips that we saw previously. Now, <laughs> in my video, the fake orchid care videos that get such a lot of clicks and views, even though they are clickbait, there was one example that I can easily replicate here without spending too much time on this video and taking too much of your time because I have a feeling you already know what's gonna come next. However, I'm not done yet because I want to show you how once you have a whole library of different elements that we've just extracted and you put them in the folder how they can be repeated for other thumbnails over and over again. And I want you to get a visual of what you're looking at when you see those fake Orchid Hack Care video thumbnails. You will start to see a repeat of all the different elements that were behold also in another video. But anyway, so this next one that we're gonna work on, the thumbnail includes the potato, the magic potato, the starch, the sugars and everything. Not that they explain that to you in the video. No, they tell you to take a potato, take a severed phalaenopsis leaf, slice the potato, stick it in there, and well, as we work through the thumbnail, what you will see at the end of the result is basically a beautiful leaf that is still magically very, very fresh. And I fudged a little bit here because when you look a little bit closer on these thumbnails, you will notice that one leaf doesn't resemble the other leaf. So I could have gone and doubled up and used the same leaf, but you know, I want to be authentic. Do these thumbnails justice, these creators of the fake thumbnails, do them justice and try to follow their lead as best as possible. And for that reason, I chose another different Phalaenopsis leaf, just, you know, for authenticity's sake. If I'm too precise, I'm doing it wrong. Anyway, we come to a result with our little cluster of leaves that on a thumbnail would give you the appearance that sticking a single leaf into a potato after a while, they may add 10 days, one week, whatever the time frame is that they come up with, you will end up with a slice of potato with a cluster of leaves and beautiful root tips growing out of it. And then it'll look something like this. Now, when you think of thumbnails and what do you click on, what don't you click on, sometimes it's also good to think that maybe this black background is a little bit too harsh. So let's try and fiddle around and see how we can work with some color in the background, soften it a little bit on the eye. And then we can always compare which of the two thumbnails we want to mislead our orchid community with. So that's what I did in this example, messed around with more exposure, added some shadows. I don't know if they go to those extremes. I just thought for the sake of my video to show you things, I would go and play around with the colors, the shadows and the exposure a little bit. And then we come to a thumbnail that looks pretty much like what we had before, but with a blue background because you know, Sometimes what happens with these fake videos is that they'll just switch a thumbnail around and you think it's a new video.
video and behold, it's the same video, but the different thumbnail and ta-ha, <laughs> and then people click on it again and mislead you all over again and get another view and just roll in the millions. Happy days, moving on to the next fake orchid hack video. So I prepared another example for you <laughs> because in this thumbnail I wanted to show you all the different elements and components that we've used before and how you might be able to pick out with these fake videos where you see repeat root tips. Oh, they do look very similar to other thumbnails that you've seen. You may even see thumbnails where the spikes have been extracted and they've just been doubled and duplicated and just attached and slid into place. But for whatever reason, the spikes always look the same. So here's what you can see what I did with one of my fowls that is branching a spike, pointing the red arrow as they do, putting some kind of miracle potion in the center to capture your eye. And then, you know, I didn't want to be so bold as to give this result a time frame and for that reason I just left it blank letting you figure it out getting your curiosity and that is why you would click on this video because you're like wow yes I know that spikes can grow keikis but look at the roots and da di da di da right okay I didn't show you how I prepared that one but you get my point and goodness me, <laughs> if you've made it this far, I do appreciate that you're here and I hope you're having some fun. I hope you're getting an understanding of what you should look out for and be aware of before you click on the video and put your orchid at risk because these images are so enticing when we get desperate when our orchids start to struggle. But anyway, I want to thank you for being here. I think I just jumped right into this video. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. Would you please give this video a like, possibly subscribe subscribe as well if you haven't already because I am desperately trying to break through the algorithm and pass these hack videos and make my relevant credible videos count in YouTube and get recommended. I would so appreciate it. Maybe you could even share it if you had fun watching this video up to this point. Give me a few more minutes and then maybe I can convince you to share it but it would be great to have your continued support. Let me just tell you something. There's one thing to be said about extracting all these images and getting all these components and putting them in a folder if that's how organized you want to be and I just happen to want to be that organized it takes a lot of time but once you have your components you can mess around because look at those root tips and then look at the first thumbnail we made don't they look vaguely familiar hmm? they do they do they do because they came out of an image previously that had nothing to do with these other two images nothing to do with the phalaenopsis that we're just plumping them on wouldn't it be wonderful to grow roots like this just out of the blue magically by throwing whatever substance is out there on the orchids. I do not recommend any of these orchid hack videos. If there is an element of truth behind what they say, I have a lot of questions with regards to their pH, their TDS, light levels, and their environment. Just to name a few details I would be interested in. A time frame being a big one because they always promise things like seven days, one week, or for example, in 10 days, your orchid will be blooming all year round. It's all nonsense, I hate to tell you. But then you can also see that, you know, here's our previous thumbnail where we just improved a little bit on the background so it wouldn't be so harsh. <laughs> We still got the same root tips and I could have used the other root tips for this one but then I wouldn't be able to tell you how they take all the different elements and components. I could have also used these root tips for our previous thumbnail with the beautiful cluster of fresh new leaves. Yeah, anyway, I hope <laughs> that you get the idea what I was trying to show you here and I hope that you enjoyed the video and I sincerely hope that if you have any questions or observations if you've watched these kinds of videos the false orchid care hack videos if you say that you've had results please add that in the comments I would be super interested how it worked out for you did you get mold did you get fungus did your orchid leaves wilt especially this with the potatoes did you have to measure the ph etc and how many parts per million if you would add that all into the comments if you've ever used one of these tips i would love to know because for me and my orchids these videos are a no-no and they are just littered with red flags and on that bombshell 
<laughs> I am going to love and leave you and wish you a beautiful day. On that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe because I would love to see you in the next video you choose to watch or alternatively, if you haven't seen my fake orchid care video hacks, how they do it, how they are bullying other orchid channels out of the YouTube algorithm, if you have not seen that, that will be linked in the description. Take care. Bye.